Hey guys, welcome back to DCTC. Amy Jo here, and today we are going to be coloring a Hello Kitty tote bag. In the previous video, when I did the Elsa and Anna purse, I asked you to leave me some comments and tell me if you would like me to do the Hello Kitty purse or the Barbie purse. And you guys were all about Hello Kitty. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one next. And uh, if you're interested in um, seeing the Barbie one done, you can click on the like button at the end of this video and I will do the Barbie one next. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So I have to admit, <laughs> I was kind of excited about the Hello Kitty one too. I think the Barbie one is cute, but the Hello Kitty one is really actually pretty big. You could almost fit a laptop, a small laptop in there. And this part of it, this white part, is kind of a, um, a vinyl texture as opposed to the Elsa and Anna purse, which was a shiny fabric. So this kind of feels like, almost like fake leather. So it's kind of a vinyl texture. And it comes with this cute little Hello Kitty heart and then the markers and the gemstones that we can use to decorate it. Now I'm going to tell you that like um, in the other video, I did plan on using my own markers because I just don't think these are enough colors to do everything. So I will use these, but I'm also going to use my own permanent markers as well. So like I said, the front of it's got this nice sort of vinyl um, texture. Hello Kitty's bow is very glittery. The inside is just regular fabric. Um, there's no pockets or anything. And then the back is pink. Okay, all right, let's get started. <laughs> One of the directions on the package was it said to make sure that you use a clean workspace. And then I'll say this, I want to make sure that you all know that you either need to use permanent markers or you need to make sure that you take a lot of time to dry um, between coloring things because it will smear, especially on this type of material. But that being said, the thing you have to remember is that when you use permanent markers, the, um, the marker doesn't go away. So if you get it on like a bedspread or on your clothes or um, if you're coloring on the floor and you accidentally get some marker on the carpeting, the permanent marker will not come out. So make sure that you check with an adult about uh, all of this before you get started. Um, and also you should start at the top of the purse and work your way down and that is so that nothing smears. So as you can see, I have started working on the butterfly. I'm not the butterfly, <laughs> oh my goodness. I have started working on the bumblebee and I am making my bumblebee yellow and black. So I'm just working on his last little yellow stripe. And I'm not sure what color I'm gonna make his wings. I might leave them white, because of course I'm gonna be doing the whole background as well. So I don't want to have, um, I can have some white stuff and I think that that will be fine. Okay, so here's our little bumblebee. And then I'm gonna do the Hello Kitty in a really bright color. I'm just not sure yet. So let me take a look. Okay, so I decided on hot pink. And I think that this will match the bow and the straps on the purse really well. So color this and this colors very differently than the fabric purse that I was doing with um, the same markers the other day the Elsa and Anna purse the fabric really bled a lot now this isn't bleeding at all so you can go right up against the lines and you don't have to worry at all that the marker is going to bleed Okay, so there's our Hello Kitty lettering, and I'm gonna use one of the Hello Kitty markers now to make a bright turquoise flower. This is one of my favorite colors. I 
And then I'll use the yellow to make the center. And here are some of my other favorite colors that I just love. I love all these bright colors. So I'm gonna just have these up here and I'm kind of alternate and grab different ones and just sort of color in whatever I think should be whatever color. So I'm gonna do a little orange heart. So now I'm going to work on the butterfly and the butterfly has a lot of stripes and I'm going to try to do those and make it really colorful um, and you know one of the things that you have to remember is that it's really okay if you don't get everything perfect. It doesn't have to be where everything is exactly in the line. Uh, it will still turn out looking great and the more you color the better you get at doing those types of things. So don't get stressed out about that kind of stuff if you accidentally go outside of the line, it's, you know, it's no big deal. Oh, see, I just did it. I just colored in part of that little polka dot with my orange marker. Okay, see what I did? I'm making my butterfly rainbow colored. So I did red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. So now I'm gonna start all over again and do red. There we go. Look at our rainbow butterfly. And now we need to move over to this side of the bag where we have a little heart and then this looks like a 
couple of clouds and a star. So let's see. Meet some. Maybe I don't have much color over on this side. We've got all that rainbow color over there. So I'm gonna do this heart in orange. And then I think I will make the star that sort of bright green color. I love this color and this color together. I also love these two colors together. There we go. Now I have two different shades of blue that I'm going to use for the clouds. So I thought with the polka dots, maybe that was supposed to be kind of like a rain cloud. So I wanted to do that a little bit darker, like not such a bright color, maybe a little bluish gray, kind of a gloomy cloud. <laughs> like it, not the kind of cloud that you see when the sky is blue. And actually, I know that clouds are really technically white, but since the background is white, I'm gonna do these in blue. And I'll do this one in this brighter blue. It's a little bit of a difference between the two shades. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and flip that so that we can start working on the bottom half of the bag. Let's see, I think I'll use this light pink again for part of this flower. And then I'll do this light purple. I mean, <laughs> light orange. I was looking at the purple marker when I said that. And we'll do yellow for the inside. And then for this heart, I'm going to do really bold colors like red and turquoise. That'll be really bright. Next, we're gonna scoot back over to this side and we're gonna do this rainbow right here. So we'll start with the outer band and of course that will be the red. We have orange. Yellow. Uh-oh, <laughs> we're not gonna have enough of the rainbow bands to make the whole rainbow. Hmm, I wonder what color I should do next then. So normally it would be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So let's see if we do red, orange, yellow, green. I guess we could just end it with green. It's almost half the rainbow. <laughs> there, 
there. Maybe I'll do a purple heart and a turquoise, um, like that bluish turquoise color for the cloud. And here's what we have so far. So we have about half of it done on this side and about half of it done on this side. And of course, I don't think we're gonna do anything to Hello Kitty. So we just have this little bit to do left. And you know, initially I said that I was going to do the background, um, but I actually really like all of the white space, the negative space. So I probably won't do that. I can uh, decide at the end after I look at everything, but it already has so much color. I just love it. I don't think, I want to color in the entire background, but we'll see. All right, well, let's keep going. <laughs> Before I start coloring again, I want to show you, yesterday I did a little video with two um, Hello Kitty blind bags, and look how cute these are. This is what came in the blind bag. So they're little Mega Bloks Hello Kitty characters, and this one has some bananas, and she looks like a little Hawaiian Hello Kitty. And this one is going to the beach. She's got a little pink bathing suit on. I thought those were adorable. So I have a lot of Hello Kitty blind bags and I'm gonna be opening those. So I'm excited because I think there are eight different characters and so far we have two. So I'm excited to um, see what else we get in our blind bags. All right, so do the bow in red. I'll probably do that middle part in hot pink. The little heart right here. the hot pink that came with the set. These actually work really well. They have the tip of them is a little uh, broader. It's not such a fine point. So actually they color on really fast. We'll let that side dry a little bit and move over to this side. Do purple for the heart. We have to go back up 
up here and work on these three things. Let's see, we haven't done any hot pink over here. Let's, let's do some hot pink. do this well we have dark purple right there so maybe not let's see what color should we do this a lot of different colors right there hmm could do yellow we don't have a lot of yellow over on this side and we have another bow so let's do that one a little different let's do let's do purple I was thinking how fun <laughs> it is to color this and this would be like a really fun thing to do maybe for a friend for a gift you could buy one for yourself and one for the friend and um, like if it was your friend's birthday or a holiday that you celebrate and um, you could color them together or you could color them together but for each other so for example, like if I was making this for with my friend, she and I, she and I would be making the ones that we're coloring for each other. Or you could do it for yourself, either way. But it would be a really fun little activity to do with a friend. Or you could even do one and then give it away to a friend, which would be sweet. I don't know though. I don't know if I could give this away. <laughs> I think it's so cute. There, so this bow we did purple and pink, and the other one we did pink and red. So we are getting close to finished. Let's see, we'll move back over to the other side now. I'm sure everything is dry. I keep moving my little Hello Kitties back and forth. <laughs> like they're watching me color. Okay, so let's see, we need color do we need over here we have some red we have some purple what if we did kind of um well we just did that purple maybe we need like that bright orange we'll do a bright orange heart okay and let's do this well, let's save the turquoise. We'll do the, the cloud in the turquoise. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it in that. Well, yeah, I will do it in this turquoise. I really like this color next to the purple. Now, there are lots of different ways that you could color this. You could do the whole thing in like black and gray and then it would just be black and gray and white or you could do it like I'm doing it in lots of different colors but another idea I had is you could just do it in black and red which always remind me of Hello Kitty black white and red so if you did the whole thing in black and white and red that would be kind of cool lots of different things that you could do lots of different ways to uh, color it to express what you like. I like lots of different colors, lots of bright colors, and so I chose to do it this way, but if you had a favorite color, you could do it all in shades of that color, like a monochromatic um, version of it. Or really just however you like it, whatever way suits you. Right, now let's see. I think we need some yellow down here. I'll do this yellow in the middle of the heart. 
And then I am worried that this red flower that I just did and this blue cloud are not dry. So I'm scared to do the outer part of that. So I'm going to shift to the other side of the bag now. Let's see. Actually, let's, let's take a minute to look at the whole thing. There's what we have so far. Like I said, it's so colorful. I have, you know, tons of different bright colors on it. And I really like it. I'll be curious to see what you all think. You can leave me a comment and tell me what you think. If you like the bright colors or if you would do something different. Um, if you had one or if you're going to get one the way that you're going to color yours. So we just have these flowers and um, a couple of things left on the bottom. So let's go ahead and finish it up. We also have some little um, sticky rhinestones that we can put all over this to make it look sparkly. And I'm not going to worry too much about that bottom part because that is where the bag has a fold in it and so that won't show anyway and it will just get very tricky to color that part of the seam. Let's do a turquoise flower. some green, that bright, bright green. Let's do that for our heart. We are almost totally done. Let's do light pink for this. It's very light. And let's see, we need something for the star. How about, let's do red. All right, that is the last thing for that side of the bag. So now we just have these last little bits here. We are completely finished. We can go ahead and do the petals and the stem of this flower. And we need to do something here. Why don't we do Hmm, let's do light orange. Or actually, let's do the orange that came with the set. I actually really like these markers. I like the way that they color on very smooth. So now, these are our last two items to color. Hmm, I think we'll do green and turquoise for the bow.
So the last thing is the flower. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I think we'll do this light purple that came with the set. And I think I will do yellow for the inside. Oh, it's hard to color that bottom part. There we go. And yellow. And now we're done! <laughs> So now we're all finished with coloring everything and I definitely am going to leave the background white. I think that that will look best. So now we just have to decide where we're going to put the rhinestones. So here are the little rhinestones that came with the set. Ah, can't get them out. There we go. Hmm tricky to get those open. There we go. All right, so here are the rhinestones. So now we just need to add some of these around our bag and we will be done. Okay, so I added the first one right here above the rainbow and I have a little teeny tiny purple one and I'm gonna add that right here to one of the polka dots. Actually, oh, those stick really well. I was gonna move that one but no, I am not. <laughs> that thing is stuck. Oopsie. Okay, so that's good to know. If you put it down, you cannot move it. So put it where you want it. Okay, I'll put one there. And then maybe we'll do, look at how tiny these are. Ooh, not sure where to put those. Let's see, I'll put a clear one right here in the middle of the orange. You see that? And let's see, another turquoise one up here. And then I need to do some of these little teeny tiny ones, but they're really tiny, hard to get off the uh, packaging. Okay, so I put one right there in the middle of the heart. Can you see that? And there are lots of those, so if you like a lot of blingy, sparkly stuff, you could add a lot more to that. I think that's all I'm going to add to my bag, though. Okay, guys, that's it. We did it. There's our Hello Kitty bag. I think it turned out great, and I'm looking forward to hearing your comments to let me know what you think. How would you color your Hello Kitty bag? Would you do lots of colors, or would you just use a couple of colors? Um, and also, if you would like to see me do the Barbie purse that I showed you in the uh, last video that I did, click on the like button and that will tell me that you want to see it. For more Disney cars, Play-Doh, and surprise toy fun, check out our channel. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.